Here at TSTC, I'm learning how to save lives. There are a lot of programs out there for EMS right now. And as far as TSTC goes, the paramedics they put out there in the field are the most experienced one. My name is Juan Montes. Uh, I've studied uh, advanced level EMS here at TSTC. I have been working in the field for roughly about two years now, so I had a big, big expectation coming into the school. I had uh, a lot of questions that I want answered, and TSTC definitely met that and exceeded that on every level. So we're coming up on a patient. We got a 911 call. First thing we're going to want to do is go ahead and, if this patient is having difficulty breathing, we're going to want to go ahead and breathe for this patient. I'd go ahead and take over or start ventilation on this patient, making sure that I see chest rise. As you note, we can see equal rise on the chest. That, that means that this patient is being ventilated properly. I was at work one day and a mom dropped her daughter and the daughter began to seize. And at that point, I, I had no idea what I was doing. And um, I didn't want to feel like that again. After that day, I took I took the initiative and I, I went looking for a career. I, I found the TSTC EMT program and I enrolled in that that next semester and I fell in love with that career. It was just a desire to help people. Um, I'm gonna wanna see what this patient oxygen levels are at. So would you go with pulse oximetry? We'd go ahead and put this on a patient's finger. Pediatrics would go ahead and use a sticker on this guy. I'd also want to go ahead and get blood pressure on him as well. Uh, as far as uh, this program goes, it allows me to advance my career here in Texas. Uh, I'll be working as a paramedic. I plan on moving on to get my critical care certs, doing flight medic here in, in Texas. Pull out my stylet. We put our end title on here to make sure that we do have an end title ECO2. At this point, I'd have my partner ventilating while I look, look for chest rise. At this point, we'd go ahead and transport this patient to the nearest facility, putting him on the stretcher and securing him in place. While continuing to ventilate this patient on high flow O2. We'd continue to monitor the patient and transport him to the nearest facility 